praise the Lord Church, Leviticus chapters 13 through 16, the scapegoat. Leviticus chapter 16 verses 10 through 34. But the goat chosen by Lord as the scapegoat shall be presented alive before the Lord to be used for making atonement by sending it into the wilderness as a scapegoat. He is to lay both hands on the head of the live goat and confess over it all the wickedness and rebellion of the Israelites, all their sins, and put them on the goat's head. He shall send the goat away into the wilderness in the care of someone appointed for the task. The goat will carry on itself all their sins to a remote place, and the man shall release it in the wilderness. The man who releases the goat as a scapegoat must wash his clothes and bathe himself with water. Afterward, he may come into the camp. This is to be a lasting ordinance for you. Atonement is to be made once a year for all the sins of the Israelites. And it was done as the Lord commanded Moses. God the Almighty is the one who redeems us. A scapegoat is the one who makes atonement for another. In the Old Testament, two goats were offered for sin offering and burnt offering. Aaron set the two goats before the Lord at the tent of meeting, and the lords were set over the two goats, one for the burnt offering and the other was used as a sin offering for the people. The scapegoat served as an atonement for the people to reconcile man with God. God instituted the new covenant by which one could take away the sins of the world, that is, through Jesus Christ, his Son, our Lord and Savior. As it is written in Romans chapter 5 verses 12 and 17, Therefore, just as sin entered the world through one man and death through the sin, and in this way death came to all people because all sinned, for if by the trespass of the one man death reigned through that one man, how much more will those who receive God's abundant providence of grace and of the gift of righteousness reign in life through the one man, Jesus Christ? May we enter into the most holy place, the throne room of God, through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who is the scapegoat for atonement of our sins to redeem us for eternity. Praise be to our wonder-working God. In Jesus' name, Amen.